Good morning, my HCG peeps. It's Maddie, and today is BLCD 18. Only 12 days left. And I did go down. At least I'm not stuck, and I didn't go up. I went down 0.4, which means now I'm down 0.2 below where I was before I went up. So there. So now I have lost a total in 18 days of 24.6 pounds. So if somebody would happen to notice that I've lost weight, I could say, why yes, I've lost almost 25 pounds. I can round up, right? Now that I've crossed over into the 0.6, I can round up and say approximate. Makes me feel better. Um, so, doesn't make me feel as much better as I would if I had a bigger thinking number. But I'm all right. Come on. Come on. So, um, okay, so here is my lesson learned from my whiny, cranky day. And I apologize for my whiny. I was so tired yesterday. It was the kind of weepy tired you get. Like if someone says, how are you? And you, you want to just say, I'm tired. But you can't. It's almost like, I'm so tired. Yeah, that's how I felt. So I apologize. Once I was well caffeinated and it all soaked in, I was better. Totally better. Okay, so here is my lessons learned from yesterday. My insight from it. Because I, when I feel dis-ease in my body, discomfort in my mind, body, and spirit, I'm a total California frou-frou freak. Just so you all know, like I... I've been a yoga teacher, I teach Pilates, I do Kundalini, I've done raw food. I'm totally one of those. Okay, so I have to analyze and process what's going on with me. What can I learn from this? What can I take from this, right? So here's what it is. Yesterday, I was feeling really crappy, really. I mean, there's no better way to put it. Um, in every way, I was I'm, I'm still kind of fighting this button. I'm skirting it. I'm going to go right around it. <clears throat> and um, I, I was feeling so tired from my son waking me up several times <laughs> the night before, <clears throat> plus sleeping on the couch. And <clears throat> I have a frog in my throat. Um, and just, it, it just overwhelmed and stressed about the ex-father-in-law coming. Um, so I, I had to, I had to figure out, you know, why do I want a grilled cheese sandwich? So I went into that and I really wanted the nurturing when, whenever I was sick or something or stressed out, my mom would make me a grilled cheese sandwich. It was like comfort food, right? So then I went into, well, what is comfort food? What does it does? What does it do for me? And then I thought, well, okay, what other ways can I nurture myself? Right? So I went into more food. Like the only way I could think to nurture myself was food items. Coffee, hot fudge sundae, lucky charms. I mean, I went into like this menu of food options. And then I thought, oh my God, like the only way I can think to be nurturing to myself is food. How sick is that? No wonder why I'm fat. You know what this is? This is my nurturing. What a self-destructive way of nurturing myself. So then I really started to think about other options. Well, what gives me the same feeling? What, what is it? It's taking time, sitting down, enjoying the numbingness, right? And uh, which I still get, I still get, gosh, that hamburger, tomato, spinach thing with mm -hmm, right? Um, so, but what, what is it about that? And it was taking the time, <sighs> feeling better. So then I started to think of other options. And for me, I'm a, I'm a big sky freak. I love to go out and just stare at the clouds and watch them go by. It makes me feel so good sitting by the ocean if I lived close enough, but I don't, it's three hours away. So, um, you know, stuff like that, um, going for a walk outside and getting fresh air nurtures my spirit. Um, just even meditating and praying, just sitting for a while. And in my mom cave, in my 
in my sacred space or outside, um, doing a sun salutation helps ground my body and, and calm me down way better for me than a grilled cheese. So and I'm not saying a grilled cheese is bad, but what I needed to learn was there's other options. And I mean, we all kind of know that, but I didn't know it. I didn't feel it in my body. And all of a sudden I went into, well, how would those make me feel? Probably better than a grilled cheese because then after you eat a grilled cheese, I don't know about you, but I get like this, dude, cheese right there on the butt, you know? So um, anyway, that was my lesson learned. So I um, am drawing a little heart on my hand um, with permanent ink to remind myself if I need nurturing to go to one of these new options and to not think about food. And it's my understanding that it takes 33 times of switching the habit to change the habit. So it's there. So even when I'm massaging, I can see it and, and notice it. So that's my lesson learned from the whiny and cranky day. So I'm sorry I inflicted you with it, but it was good in the long run because it taught me something. So, and I'm sharing it with you because if you had to be inflicted with my whininess, you get to be inflicted with my lesson from it. And I'm really nervous about my ex-father-in-law coming. He never liked me and I am such a sucker. I offered him to stay in my home. What did I do? What is the matter with me? So he's going to stay here. So my house is totally clean, like from top to bottom, which is good. The gratitude in that is I really needed to do that since I started law school. I haven't done that, you know, clean the tops of the door frames and clean out the fridge and clean out the closets. And uh, it's all clean. My house is spotless right now. And the children are not allowed to touch anything. <laughs> it's like... Don't touch anything. You can't eat. The kitchen's clean. No. So um, everything is clean and we're going to San Francisco Saturday and all day Sunday um, and then coming home. And um, so my goal is to maintain because I know this is going to be uber stressful for me. <sighs> Note to self. Next time I have a break from law school, no guests and no traveling. Mm -mm. I need to relax and decompress and get ready for the new semester. And while he's here, somewhere in that time, I have to read 150 pages for my first day on Tuesday of my new trimester. And no, I haven't gotten my grades yet. That's getting me a little pissy too. So I know my fight and fire is back. So anyway, I, I'm, I'm really nervous. And because of the stress, I know what stress does to this diet. I'm just going to pray I don't go up. Um, if I go down, it's gravy, totally gravy. I don't know when I'll get a chance to vlog. It could be intermittent. It could be at night instead of first thing in the morning. I don't know when and how and what, but I'm going to do the best I can and try to keep up with you guys. Um, I don't want to bring my laptop because San Francisco is infamous for car break-ins. I'm not going to do that, but I will try and bring my iPad and, uh, just stash it and hide it well. So my iPad is one of the old ones. It doesn't have a camera and I don't know how to do it on my phone like Kat does. So see if I figure it out. Um, anyway, so that's what's happening for me uh, coming up. I'm just going to pray that I keep stable this weekend. And, um, you know, I only have 12 days left on this diet and a good four or five of them are going to be kind of sucky which is kind of a bummer. And then I go into stabilization before I load again. So, you know, I had my HCG wish. I don't, I don't think I'm going to make it because of this, but, uh, where I end, I end where I am. I am. I'm just going to accept it with gratitude and grace, baby. Uh, so that's it. That's it for me. Um, Runkman 44, your vlog with Katie moving into your apartment was adorable absolutely adorable. You guys are the cutest couple ever. Um, and, um, Care Bear, I think it's 6939, your 
vlog yesterday, the way you started it out, I laughed so hard I was crying. I, that was the best beginning to a vlog ever. <laughs> You're so funny. So um, I, I have lots of other shout outs. Wisconsin Dieter, you were awesome yesterday. You were like, get to work. <laughs> that was funny. I like that. And it did make me feel better. I needed a little kick in the bum. Um, so you guys are awesome support even when I have a whiny day. And thank you for putting up with me being whiny. And I will try not to do that often. <laughs> but um, I'm watching all of your vlogs. And I hope, Stefaru, that you, your fat fast worked and you had a bigger release. Um, if nothing has moved by Tuesday, I'm doing an Apple Day Tuesday, just so you know. Um, where'd Dance and Hottie go? I want to see what's going on with you, girl. Um, I know, you're gone for like a day and I'm like, oh. So... Um, I look forward to all of your vlogs. I really do. I catch up on them and I read them and, and I try and comment as much as possible. I try not to just say something to hear myself talk. Dang, I gotta go. It's too long. This vlog is too long. Bye.